acolher não apenas em língua portuguesa. O acolhimento em diferentes línguas pode ser a melhor forma da nossa solidariedade. Para muitos imigrantes e refugiados, a língua é a única pertença que conseguem trazer de seus países. Olá, eu sou infectologista da Faculdade de Ciências Médicas da Unicamp e vou falar com você hoje sobre a importância de se usar máscara de tecido. Hello, Dr. Raquel is an infectologist at Unicamp and she just taught us in Portuguese the importance of wearing masks during this pandemic. My name is Mariana and together with Veronica and Bianca, we will present you Dr. Raquel's guidelines in English. Wearing masks is not only part of an important self-care act, but it also shows caring for the other people in your community. Simple fabric masks like this one should be worn by people who have no symptoms of any disease, while surgical masks should only be worn by healthcare professionals and other people under medical recommendation. To show the correct use and handling of a fabric mask, here I have a handmade mask result of a project held by Unicamp and the Labor Ministry. First, you need to clean your hands with water and soap or hand sanitizer. Hold your mask by the bands, position it on your face, and put the bands behind your ears. Once it's settled, don't touch your mask again. You need to change masks if it becomes humid or after you've used it for four hours. Take off the mask, hold it by the bands, remove it and put it on a paper sheet inside an envelope or plastic bag. Don't put it in your purse, backpack, pocket or any other surface before you have wrapped it. If I left my mask on the paper sheet and it isn't dirty, I can use it again if I have to go out. Wash your mask with water and soap, throw away the paper or plastic you used to wrap it, and let it dry before using it again. The mask is for personal use only, and an important caution act in order to decrease the spread of coronavirus. Embrace this cause.